Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and yes, today is beautiful Friday here in Portugal, Lagos. I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and especially about the price TA video. Uh, of course, four hour weekly, monthly chart, but then I have seven amazing charts, and you need to watch them all because they will show you the most bullish but also the most bearish scenario so you can figure out what to do at the moment with Bitcoin. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts because you will love all these. Bam. This is the first one guys this is of course the four hour chart now on the four hour chart we have seen some indicator and it's the bam bam indicator telling us to short and the short flag was over there and the confirmation was at that moment that we saw i will tell you there's the short flag the candle closed down below the yellow stepping line a shitload of red a shitload of yellow sorry a green candle pushing it downwards and the bam bam crossed over there it's a quadruple confirmation you take that short now the other way around, we are now waiting for a long. The long flag is over there. There is too much yellow. The blue line hasn't crossed the white line. So we're waiting for a confirmation. Which one? There needs to be a candle closing above the yellow stepping line. The yellow needs to turn into the green. The blue leads to cross the white line and preferably the white line is pointing upwards. And that would be a, a triple confirmation of um, taking that long. And then that long, at the moment, if we would take the long from there, that we close above the stepping line, could be 10% uh, long again, up to the top of the blue Bollinger Band. So that is how you use the Bam Bam Indicator, guys. If you want to use the Bam Bam Indicator, then go to the BitcoinFamily.com. On that page, you will find products and you will find all the indicator packages over there. And there you can find the bronze, the silver and the gold package. And you can check which one fits you the best now, guys. Um, by the way, if you want to trade all of this, then please do use this exchange, uh, Bybit. Why? Because I just love to trade on Bybit. At the moment, if you uh, scan that QR code over there, and it's not the Klaus Schwab QR code. It's the real QR codes that you need to get up to $4,100 bonus. I think it's even $4,800 at the moment. You get 30% fee discount, free Bybit launchpad, and there is going to be a really cool launch. And you know, even by using this link, all the users that used it the last couple of months, they now got their Ethereum W uh, airdrop, which means if you hold 10 Ethereum in your uh, Bybit portfolio, you now have 10 Ethereum proof of work as well. That's the Ethereum W. Now, so really cool Bybit, one of the best exchanges out there. If you want to support them, then do use them. Now, let's quickly go into the next chart, guys. Um, the chart that I want to show you is this one. This is the weekly. And on that weekly, we have been seeing the Bam Bam indicator of calling for a long, already a long time ago. It was around the moment of July. That is when the Bam Bam told us, okay, we're going to turn around. We did turn around. We went all the way from 19,000 all the way up to 24,000. But we came down again. We're still above that previous low, but we are getting near that same level, guys. So we have a double bottom coming in. So normally we would go up to that red line again and test that. And that is what I am waiting for. Are we going to the red line or are we going to fall lower to that purple line, which is the 300 weekly moving average? And that one at the moment is at 17,484. And I know that a lot of you are screaming, Didi, if we dropped 82%, which we have been dropping in the previous uh, uh, bear markets, we could go to 12K. That is the truth. If we would drop it again to 82%, uh, we would go to that. But for me, that would be lower than the previous all-time high and these levels are around the previous all-time high and normally we also bounce around these levels and we have never gone below the 300 weekly moving average so for me there's a, a mixed signals but there is a lot of signals telling me also that the bear market is in that you know that we are going to go bullish somewhere like at the bottom here the 12 multiple this whole green area the last few times we saw so much green area look what the hap would have happened if you would have bought around those times here if you would have bought at these levels here, 
Yeah, this were at 3k levels, <laughs> you would be in shit with a profit. If you bought at these green levels over here, that was the 5 to 6k levels, you would be in shit with a profit. If you bought at this green level here, you would have bought at 28k, you could have been in shit with a profit, but at the moment you're in a loss. So these big green areas look more like this green big area over there. So that is what I'm thinking, mixed signals. But let's zoom out. If we zoom out a little bit more, we get the, the monthly chart. On the monthly chart on the MACD, um, that bar was turning uh, pinkish at the moment it's turning red again because yes the price is dropping and um, you can see that we are moving below the 20 uh, below the 200 weekly moving average i need to say that's a weekly but this is a monthly candles so um normally when we have that crossover of the orange and the blue line we uh, saw the bottom we already saw the bottom. That's another bullish signal. Look, when the orange crosses the blue line, the bottom was in. When the orange crosses the blue line, the bottom was in. When the orange is crossing the blue line, the bottom should be in. Now, of course, Bitcoin can always do what it wants to do, and that is what I'm going to show you on the next couple of charts, guys. Um, again, guys, if you want to trade all of this, then please use the Bybit uh, referral link down below the video. Uh, and if you're too lazy to uh, click on the link, then maybe you scan this QR code. It will give you the same amount of bonuses as the other ones. I think there is also a spot trading bonus, like 0% fees on spot trading. And I think you trade $10, you get $10 for free something like that guys now let's quickly jump into these other really cool charts then over here now i would need to put my face in another place this is the first chart that i found on twitter i always share this chart that i find on twitter because i want to share other people's opinion as well um, and this one was made by uh, ah, here you can see it ta trader allen now this is a very bullish um, chart but you need to look at the time so you need to look this is like 2022 but on the bottom you can see the end of the chart would be 2025 and this chart is telling us that if we are on a three in the monthly chart but there is a three-day rsi so the, the the candles are the monthly candles but the rsi is a three-day candles so if we copy this run that we saw in the bear market of 2018 till the top last year that would mean look on the bottom we can see that 3d rsi we are making this pattern and then when we break out we turn bullish again and we go slowly up again we did a downward trend are we breaking out at the moment that's what you can see here if you're breaking out are we going to go slowly up again like we did here and that would mean that, that these kind of monthly candles would follow that the mean that would we we would have seen the bottom we would try to go up again Head to that 60k level, we will be rejected, come back down to the 25 to 30k level, and then somewhere in 2024, where uh, the halving uh, takes place in April, we go up again massively in the next run. That is a really bullish chart. Now, the same you can see on this chart, it's, I think it's by the same trader. Uh, I found two of these charts on his Twitter. When we see this crossover, uh, the, the, this the Bitcoin PMO accumulating signal, uh, when they cross over in this pinkish area, then the bear market is almost over. So then that the bottom is in. When they cross over in the pinkish area, they are again about to cross over. So I really like how we uh, simplify the charts and every time when they cross over, we can see that Bitcoin is turning from a bear market slowly into a bull market. So these are the bullish charts. Now the bearish chart that is for, for example this one guys. Because um, if we look at the last couple of years, then we can see that September was not always a very bullish year. Better September was mostly bearish in the last like uh, five years. So we had a few bullish years as well, like you can see here in the middle, there the 5.9 and here. But on average, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times um, of the 10 years, it was a bearish month. October, though, was then again bullisher, and November was also a bullish month, and December was also more bullish than bearish. But again, this gives you just an overview how the months are different. Sometimes we have the bullish uh, January, and sometimes we have a bearish January. Uh, but in average, September was a bearish month. A bearish month with about 7% minus, which could be um, exactly what we are doing at the moment. Now, if we zoom out a little bit more, then we get this one, then we see the Bitcoin returns after the major peaks, guys. And um, on this one, you can see that, guys, that um, looked at the orange line, that is us 
minus 70 percent now you can see that the other times we went to minus 93 to minus 83 and minus 84 which would lead from this point that we are now in bitcoin to drop to 12k that is why everybody is shouting 12k that's also what you saw on the box in the previous chart that i showed you if we would drop another 10 percent uh, we could drop to the 12k area guys now very interesting and that is also the bearish uh, chart that's also of course the bearish thing that i want to share with you if we would go sideways like the previous times here for a couple of months like to till day 340 and then have that huge crash okay that could happen it's a possibility that's the bearish scenario and that bearish scenario also comes back on this chart and this chart is uh, the Bitcoin master plan. You stop the video if you want to uh, uh, look at this chart a little bit closer or go to the Discord channel there. I will post these charts daily after my videos. Now, on this chart, you can see some very interesting stuff, guys. You can see um, that from the bottom to the top here, it took 770 days. Then from the bottom to the top, it took 1064 days. Here from the bottom to the top, again, it took 1064 days. If we would bottom here, to the top it would take 2064 days again then we would arrive somewhere in 2025 at uh, the ultimate top now we can also see um, the, all the other information in here we can see that it took from top to top 1477 days 12 1428 days if it would be an average like 1440 days the top again indicates to be somewhere here in the end of 2025 if we would drop 86 percent after 415 days of year sorry that i wanted to say here we drop 364 uh, days later to a minus 84 here 357 days at the moment that's the bottom if we would drop 82 percent we would drop to 12k and there is a lot of information and then you can see the ultimate high to the halving also these levels it took 889 days 960 days if it will take another 889 days that would be in that indeed over here from the top till april um, in 2024 so there is a lot of information the most important part is if you buy in this area minus 70 to minus 82 percent 82 percent that would lead to massive returns if you bought in this area would have led to massive returns yes you could have bought at 6k and you could have been freaking out that you dropped to 3k but after that you had massive returns <coughs> you had a 2070 percent gain if you would have bought here it's the same yes you could be buying cheaper or a little bit more expensive but at the end you had a 12,300 percent return in my opinion if you buy in this area where we are now even if we fall from uh, 19k to 12k or 15k or 17k it doesn't matter but in the end i think we will again have these huge uh, returns i'm still saying every time 700 percent times seven uh, but it also could be thousand percent or two thousand percent but on average it could be 850 percent top so everything in between 100k and 300k around 2024 25 would be amazing levels guys and it would also mean that we make a new all-time high around october 24 so that we would be higher than the 70k level that we had already really interesting chart pause the video if you want to and um, um, look at it a little bit closer so I, I find it really interesting bitcoin master plan by master kenobi was made really interesting numbers thank you for sharing this beautiful chart guys um uh, with uh, all the bitcoiners out there in the world here this is indicating what i just said now you could be buying at these levels of course um, if you would be buying in that square then you would be buying around the bottom here this square guys this is the accumulation phase that you should be buying into bitcoin because as well after that it will go up it will create a new ultimate high and it will do what i just showed so do on the other chart it will go times seven or eight or nine so that's your whole capital times seven or eight or nine which is exactly why i told my brother mss to sell the house sell the house on the peak of the housing market take your over value put it into bitcoin and bam run that beautiful run while you enjoy life in a cheap country like thailand or whatever you want to spend your time in um, and that is also what you can see now that yes bitcoin is by far dead now the bitcoin network hash rate made a new all-time high we have 
Terra hashes at the moment on the 11th of September. That's a new all-time high, guys. So yes, more and more Bitcoin miners supporting this beautiful industry, guys. Now, whew, that was a lot of talk. DD, bam. So, in all. Yes, we see mixed signals, we see bearish signals, we see bullish signals. Yes, we can drop another 50% from 20k all the way um, to 12k, which then in total would be an 82% drop from the all time high. It's all possible. That's why it's very important that you should be buying in now. Dollar cost average. Buy Bitcoin at every level 90k, 80k, 15k, 12k. If you go back to 22k, keep buying Bitcoin because we all know. What is going to happen afterwards? We all know that the demand is growing. We all know um, that we, in the end, in 2024, again, we'll have halving and that there is less Bitcoins coming to the market than here. We all know that we'll lead again to a bull run that will go times seven or eight. So your capital will be going times seven or eight in the next two, three years. If you take your capital, sell your third card, second card, sell all the stuff that you don't need, put it in Bitcoin right now, and then just live a normal life while earning a salary or minimalizing your um, spendings by going to a cheap country, you can run this bull run all the way up to those new all-time high levels and make your capital grow. And that is how you fight the inflation that the government is giving you. You on board deflation you on board the rocket to the moon that will lead into deflation that will make your life cheaper on average every year yes with some peaks yes with some bottoms but on average you will be living a cheaper life now that was everything i needed to share with you today on this beautiful friday and i'm going to prepare bam bam friday because we have of course on friday a new beautiful summer vibes day we had some days of rain so today after rain the sun will be shining and we will celebrate that with some live music and some drinks now thanks for watching the video if you did like it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about my beautiful bitcoin t-shirts my beautiful bitcoin cap i love this one check and um, see you you next time again probably tomorrow in a live from bam bam beach thank you for watching and see you again bam.